Thanks for dropping in. In this week's video, we're going to take a break from the Barrel Cooper's puzzle box I designed recently to talk about an old favorite. Namely, this treasure chest puzzle box. When I first designed this, I played around with printing it at larger scales. There's always kind of an issue when you're printing a mechanical object at a larger or smaller scale. Not only do you change its dimensions, you also change the spacing between moving parts. And when you increase the size and you increase that space, pieces can start to feel a little bit sloppy and not quite work together. For that reason, I never released a larger version of this puzzle officially. That changes with this design. This 200% scale treasure chest puzzle box is not only a larger version, but it has been designed from the ground up to have all the appropriate spacing between all of its moving parts. It also has a nice texture on it to take advantage of the extra surface area that the larger design affords. Assembly is the same thing as before, so if you are printing one of these up, I recommend checking out that video where I cover how to assemble the regular size treasure chest puzzle box. The solution to the puzzle is also the same as it was before. I'm going to go over that again now, but if you don't want to be spoiled, now's when you want to stop the video. As with the original design, the puzzle mainly is based off of the sliding of these various slats when the puzzle is sitting at a specific orientation. In the case of the first slat, which is the topmost one, you want the puzzle to be perfectly straight upside down. That slat was able to slide over this direction once that was oriented upside down. The next two slats can be solved in any order but they slide only when facing straight up, and they slide in the opposite direction. Now that all the slats are unlocked, the bottom of the puzzle comes loose and can be pulled up, like so. Unlike the smaller version of this puzzle, I've simplified things and reduced it only to the most recommended pieces. So this flip lid, by default, is the flip lid container. And all the slats are this recommended configuration, where three of them are riveted slats. As with the original design, there is a hidden secondary compartment here. Although I made this very tight in this version, and you may need to push it slightly against the table to get this to slide off. And to slide it back on, you may need to push it against the surface again. If you wish, you can just take a little bit of sandpaper and just sand the ends a little bit to make it looser according to your needs. But I decided to default more to a tighter connection because I found that these pieces just slid off a little bit too easily. And that's it for this week. All these files will be posted for free on Thingiverse so you can download, assemble, print, and share your own copy. Next week, we'll be returning back to the Barrel Cooper's puzzle. I'm going to talk about the design process involved. Until then, thanks for stopping by.